Are you trying to photograph birds against a really bright sky like this? I wanted to have them turn out looking like this. Well, today I'm going to teach you why that happens and what you can do to fix it. Yeah! Coming up. Your camera is trying to expose every image you take to middle grey. And it's called middle grey because it's halfway between pure white and pure black. So it's called middle grey. It's also known as 18% grey. The 18% is the reflective value of that shade. In other words, it's the amount of light that that shade reflects back at you. It does this by averaging out all the shades of grey in your image and making them 18%. It's also similar to the reflective value of your skin. Here's one you can try to prove my point. Get your phone out of your pocket, put the camera mode on, point it at the sky and bring it down to the dark background and then point it up to the sky and dark background again. And then you'll see the exposure changing from one to the other. And your camera is doing exactly the same. It's trying to expose it to middle grey or 18% grey as we've learned. So knowing this, what can we do? Well, we have to lift the exposure of the entire scene and we do this by using exposure compensation but before that i'll give you at the studio an example of how it happens and how it changes your scene to middle grain no matter what the shade of the sky or the background white card perfect black and white black turn into gray See how it changes. Both shades, white and black, turn into grey. I've set my exposure compensation to the set button here. And then I can control the exposure up or down in an instant. And then carry on taking my pictures. It's a waiting game, this bird photography. <laughs> some good viewings of cares I've had to wait a lot I've had to wait a long time and all in between sightings um, I've had to put my exposure compensation up one stop two stop sometimes I've had some cracking images but they're just too dark so you just have to keep checking but it's been a good day keep checking every time you take a few images while you've still got mum because when he's hovering there get about five or six shots off have a quick look then alter you expose your compensation up or down. Even though some of my shots are very bright, I can do that in post as long as they're not blown. So don't forget, join Northwest Wildlife Watchers on Facebook. Link in the description. And see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>